Coming up on the High School Quiz Show, it's Shrewsbury High School. <laughs> Taking on Chelmsford High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Hi, everybody. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm Billy Costa, your host. Back in November, 130 high school teams in Massachusetts competed at our Super Sunday qualifying event to earn one of the 16 spots in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next High School Quiz Show state champion. And today's matchup has Chelmsford High School taking on Shrewsbury High School. And on the Chelmsford team, we have Alicia, Evan, Aditya, and Jamil with alternates Rupesh and Michael and their coach, Craig Vitale. Nice round of applause. <laughs> and for the Shrewsbury team, we've got Monith, Stephen, Gokul, and Sangeet with the alternates Patrick on the sidelines and coach Jennifer Di Francesca. Nice round of applause. Okay, so the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and, of course, a lightning round. We will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So, teams, if you're ready, let's go. Name the invisible force that pulls every object towards the center of the Earth. Evan. Gravity. Yes, in September 2015, who was cleared to play in the Patriots' season opener after a federal judge threw out his four-game suspension for Deflategate? Uh, Monith. Tom Brady. Yes. According to Sigmund Freud, what part of the human psyche is driven by the pleasure principle? Yes, Stephen. Uh, libido. No. Chelmsford, you want to try it? Adithia. Ego. No, the id is the answer there. We move on. In 1987, what British Prime Minister famously said, there is no such thing as society. Yes, Adithia. Margaret Thatcher. Yes. Okay, take a look at your screens in front of you. You will see a picture. What nurse from Massachusetts seen here was known as the angel of the battlefield during the Civil War? Yes, go for Florence go. Nightingale. No, Chelmsford, you want to try it, Adithia? Clara Barton. That is correct, and we move on. In his book, Going Clear, author Lawrence Wright argues that the government should revoke the tax-exempt status of what religion founded by L. Ron Hubbard? Yes, Adithia. The Church of Scientology. Yes. Uh, what insect is linked to more than one million deaths every year and is responsible for an estimated half of all human deaths since the Stone Age? Yes, Jamil. Mosquito. The mosquito. Malaria, yellow fever. Uh, okay, with a population of more than 23 million, what city located on the mouth of the Yangtze River is the largest city in China? Yes, Adithia. Beijing. No, Shrewsbury, you want to try? Yes, Angeet. Shanghai. Shanghai is correct. And now take a look at your screens again. The next question will be up on the video screen, and here it comes. Hi, I'm Vince Gilligan, and here's my question. In the final season of Breaking Bad, a copy of the book Leaves of Grass plays a major role as a plot device. This landmark poetry collection is by what author who shares the same initials as the show's protagonist, Walter White? And Gokul. Walt Whitman. That is correct. What French satirical magazine was the target of a deadly terrorist attack that shocked the world in January of 2015? Yes, Jamil. Charlie Hebdo. Yes. Uh, what bone of the human body is commonly referred to as the tailbone? Yes, Adithia. Scapula. 
No, Shrewsbury, you want to try, Stephen? The coccyx. Yes, on Bloody Sunday, March 7th, 1965, state police attacked unarmed civil rights demonstrators as they began their historic march from what Alabama city? Yes, Adithia. Um, Birmingham. No, Shrewsbury. Selma. Yes, Goko. Selma. Yes, that is correct. Mummies in Egyptian tombs were buried alongside canopic jars, which were special containers for which of the following? A, internal organs. B, gold and gems. C, food for the afterlife. Yes, Stephen. A. A, internal organs is correct. Here comes a math question. 320 is 80% of what number? Yes, Goku. Uh, 400. 400 is right. In 2010, Laura Chinchilla was elected the first female president of what Central American country that abolished its military in 1949? Yes, Evan? Costa Rica. Costa Rica is right. Named after the Dutch physicist who described it in 1891, what force is exerted by a magnetic field on a moving electric charge? Yes, Evan? Van der Waals. No, Shrewsbury, you want to try? The Lawrence Force. And we move on. What 2003 science fiction novel by Gene Dupro tells the story of an underground city that is slowly running out of electricity? Yes, Adithia. Sparks. No, Shrewsbury, you want to try. Yes, Goku. Uh, the City of Ember. That is correct. 56 million years ago, the average horse was closest in size to which of the following modern-day animals? A, elephant, B, grizzly bear, C, house cat. Yes, Evan. House cat. That is correct, house cat. Uh, the Balkan Peninsula is separated from Italy by what sea that is an extension of the Mediterranean Sea? Yes, Adithia. The Adriatic Sea. Yes. What invasive insect was accidentally introduced to Massachusetts in 1869 by a Frenchman trying to breed a silkworm that would be less susceptible to predators? Yes, Adithia. Beach borer. No, Shrewsbury, you want to try it? Is it longhorn? No, uh, the gypsy moth. Whatever happened to the gypsy moths, by the way? Uh, anyway, we move on. Math question. A can of tomatoes has a radius of three inches and a height of seven inches. Rounded to the nearest cubic inch, what is the volume of the can? Time is up. 198 cubic inches. Uh, what fictional island in the Aegean Sea is the birthplace of Diana Prince, better known as Wonder Woman? Yes, there's the... Atlantis. No, Shrewsbury on a try. Paradise Island, the answer there. Uh, carbon has a value of 12.011 AMU. What does AMU stand for? Yes, Jamil. Atomic mass unit. That's correct. In 2015, uh, Pantone unveiled Minion Yellow, its first new color in three years. It was inspired by characters who first appeared in what 2010 animated film? Yes, Alicia. Despicable Me. Yes, and Napoleon lost most of his army in the disastrous retreat from Moscow during what year? Yes, Adithia. 1812. Yes, in May of 2015, what became the first conservative state in more than 40 years to abolish the death penalty, defying a veto from Governor Pete Ricketts? Monith. Tennessee. No, Chelmsford, you want to give it a shot. Adithia. Louisiana. No, Nebraska. Uh, Charlie, uh, oh, there's the bell ending the round. Take a look at the score right now. Chelmsford High School, 120 points. Shrewsbury High School, 80 points. We've got a competition. Let's hear it, folks. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is up next. First, we're going to take a quick break, get to know the players, the contestants, just a little bit better. And we do that by way of a question. I have it in my hand. Each of you will answer the same question. We're going to start with you, Alicia, over at Chelmsford High School. Here it is. You're assigned to live in a space station for a year, and you can take one personal item. Now, besides your phone, what would you take and why, Alicia? Um, probably my sketchbook, because I love to draw. Okay. it's probably a lot to draw up there. 
Uh, okay, uh, Evan, how about you? I take my headphones because I always love listening to music. It's always meant a lot to me, and it would be even more amazing to listen to it in space. What would you listen to? Um, probably a lot of Radiohead. Um, probably some David Bowie uh, as a tribute. Never hurts. Uh, yeah. Aditya? Um, I guess I take pen and paper so I can keep a log. Yeah, you always have to have a log at things like that, right? Uh, Jamil? Uh, I'd, take, I'd have to take my charger because what good is a phone without a charger? <laughs> <laughs> Now that's a good answer. Uh, over to Shrewsbury High School, Monith, what do you think? Um, I would take a really large book of crossword puzzles because crossword puzzles are always fun to solve. You do them easily? I always struggle. There's always, there's always a couple that you okay. struggle on. Uh, Steven, how about you? I would take a Rubik's Cube because you can always try to do a Rubik's Cube faster and I feel like it wouldn't get boring. Okay, Gokul. I'd grab a deck of cards and then become the best card magician in the world and then go to Vegas and make a killing. <laughs> Come back down to Vegas? Yeah, break the bank. Uh, Sangeet. I would bring a quiz show pencil so that I can remind myself of the good time I'm having here. There you go! Yes! All right, so we're all set for the head-to-head -head round, and here's the way it works. One team member from each team will come forward, go head-to-head. -head. Chelmsford High, who's it gonna be? It'll be Evan. Shrewsbury High, who's it gonna be? It'll be Steven, right? All right, so Evan, Steven, come on down. We're going head-to-head -head right now. Okay, we're about to go head to head, and I've got Stephen from Shrewsbury High School. We have Evan from Chelmsford High School. Guys, shake hands. There we go. You want a chest bump or something? Or okay, high fives, anything. Anyway, as a reminder, in this round, you get ten points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you ten points. And by the way, you can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at ninety seconds. So, gentlemen, here we go. What desert covers more than eighty percent of Algeria? Yes. Sahara. Yes. How many times was Franklin D. Roosevelt elected U.S. president? Four. Yes. Uh, what does the P stand for in a corporate accounting statement called the P&L? Profit. Uh, in Shakespeare's Othello, what emotion is called the green-eyed monster? Greed. No, jealousy. How many sides are on a dodecagon? Yes. 12. Yes. What continent is home to approximately 60% of the world's population? Asia. Yes. Adolf Hitler was elected Chancellor of Germany on March 5th of what year? Yes. 1932. No, 1933. Name the only liquid non-metallic element. Yes. Bromine. Yes. Uh, in April 2015, who was sworn in as the Attorney General of the United States? Loretta Lynch. Big Sur is a scenic region in what U.S. state? California. Uh, what author from Dorset, England wrote the tragic novel Tess of the D'Urbervilles? Thomas Hardy. I got this. Um, who was the leader of the Soviet Union during the Cuban Missile Crisis? Khrushchev. Yes. Uh, what Greek muse of history is often depicted holding a scroll? Cleo. In, oh, and uh, that's the end of the head-to-head -head round, round two. We'll take a look at the score as it stands. Chelmsford High School, 160 points. Shrewsbury High, 80 points. We've got a competition going on here. Let's have a nice round of applause. Okay, coming up next. The category round now with the following categories. Three's Company, Choose Your Battles, Alphabet Soup, First Do No Harm, The Russians Are Coming, and Cloche Encounters. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. And the players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Now, Shrewsbury, you've got some ground to make up, so you get to choose the first category. I'm ready if you are. What category is it going to be? Uh, let's try Three's Company. Three's Company. Questions about three-word phrases. And for ten points, what three words does Hamlet first say after picking up the skull of Yurik, a court jester, to the former king? <phone rings> yes, Stephen. To be or? No, Chelmsford, you want to try it. Alas, poor Yorick. 
Uh, you've still got the board, Shrewsbury category, please. Uh, let's try that again. We're going to stay with Three's Company, this time for 15 points. At the 1988 Republican National Convention, what three words followed George H.W. Bush's famous declaration, read my lips? Evan. No new taxes. Yes. Chelmsford gets the board. Category? Um, battles. Choose your battles. Choose your battles. And these will be questions about historic battles. For 10 points, what 1815 battle marked Napoleon's final defeat and brought an end to French domination of Europe? Yes, Monmouth. Uh, battle of Waterloo? Yes, now you've got the board against Shrewsbury. Category? Choose your battles. Choose your battles. Choose your battles for 15 points. On September 17th, 1862, the bloodiest day in American history, the Union stopped the first Confederate invasion of the North at what battle in Maryland? Yes, Stephen. Antietam. Yes, that's correct. You've still got the board. Shrewsbury, category? Choose your battles. For 20 points. Uh, fought from August 1942 to February 1943, what battle that stopped the German advance into the Soviet Union was the bloodiest battle of World War II? Yes, Stephen. Stalingrad. Battle of Stalingrad is right. You've still got the board. Shrewsbury. Choose your battles. Choose your battles for 25 points. Every year on April 25th, New Zealanders and Australians mark the anniversary of what World War I battle in which thousands of young men stormed the beaches of what is now Turkey? Yes, Evan. Gallipoli. Yes, that is correct. And now Chelmsford has the board category. Alphabet soup. Alphabet soup. New category. Please give your answers in the form of an acronym. And yes... These are acronyms. For 10 points, invitations often include what acronym that means please reply in French? Yes, Aditya. RSVP. Yes, you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Alphabet, Alphabet soup, please. Alphabet soup for 15 points. Uh, once known as battle fatigue, what mental disorder increased by 400% among deployed U.S. troops from 2004 to 2012? Yes, Angeet. PTSD. That is correct. Shrewsbury, you've got the board. Where do you want to go? Category? Choose your battles for 30. Okay, for 30 points. Texas won its independence from Mexico at what 1836 battle in which U.S. forces led by Sam Houston defeated a much larger Mexican army led by General Santa Ana? Yes, Aditya. The Battle of San Jacinto. Correct, and now Chelmsford, you've got the board. Category, you'll need a new one. The Russians are coming, please. Okay, these are questions about Russian authors. And for 10 points, if everyone fought for their own convictions, there would be no war. Who wrote this in his epic novel, War and Peace? Yes, Angeet. Leo Tolstoy. Yes, and you've got control of the board again, Shrewsbury. Where do you want to go? Alphabet soup. Alphabet soup for 20 points. What agency of the Department of Homeland Security has authority over the security of the traveling public in the United States? Yes, Evan? The TSA. Yes, you've got the board back. Chelmsford, category? Let's go with back to Russians are coming. The Russians are coming for 15 points. What Dostoevsky novel focuses on the mental anguish and moral dilemmas of a destitute ex-student who hatches a plan to kill a pawnbroker for her cash? Yes, Adithia. Crime and punishment. Yes, you've still got the board. Category? First, do no harm, please. First, do no harm, which is a new category, and these are questions about health and medicine. For 10 points, most often caused by UV radiation from sunshine or from tanning beds, what disease is the deadliest form of skin cancer? Yes, Alicia. Uh, Sorry. Shrewsbury? Melanoma. Yes, Monith, it is melanoma, and you've got the board, Shrewsbury. First do no harm. First do no harm for 15 points. Contracted from a tick bite, what bacterial infection that causes fatigue and muscle pain is the fastest-growing vector-borne illness in the United States, according to the CDC? Yes, Jamil. Well, Lyme disease. Lyme disease is correct. Chelmsford, where do you want to go? Um, close, close encounters. Close encounters. This is a new category. And questions about hats. And for 10 points, in the Harry Potter series, what magical object assigns new Hogwarts students to one of four houses? Yes, Adithia. The sorting hat. The sorting hat. And you've got the board, Chelmsford. Stay with it. Yeah, let's, let's stay with it. We're going to stay with it. Close encounters for 15 points. What 
11-letter word refers to the iconic hunting cap that's become synonymous with Sherlock Holmes, although it's never actually mentioned in the original books. Deerstalker is the hat. Remember that. Uh, okay, you've still got the board challenge for it? Let's go with Russians. Russians are coming for 20 points this time. I recommend that it be buried under a stone for a thousand years. A publisher wrote this rejection letter to what Russian-American author regarding his novel Lolita? Yes, Evan. Nabokov. Yes, Vladimir Nabokov. And you've got the board. Where do we go? Let's have a first do no harm. First do no harm for 20 points. Uh, what common skin rash that begins with the letter S typically affects older adults and is caused by the same virus that causes chicken pox? Yes, Sangeet. Shingles. Shingles is right. Now, Shrewsbury, you've got the board category. First do no harm. First do no harm for 25 points. Named after two scientists, what deadly genetic disease of the nervous system is more common among people of French, Canadian, and European Jewish origin? It's Tay-Sachs syndrome. And we'll move on. Shrewsbury, you've still got the board. First do no harm. This time for 30 points. A PET scan is an imaging test that allows for doctors to check for disease inside your body. What does the P in PET stand for? Yes, Evan. Positron. Positron is right. Chelmsford, you've got the board. You'll need a new category. Close. Yeah, let's go with close encounters. I like hats. Uh, close encounters for 20 points. From the Latin meaning to cast a spell on, what fanciful women's headpiece, often worn tilted to one side, is popular among guests at royal weddings? A fascinator. Chelmsford, you've still got the board? Three's company. Yeah, three's company, please. Three's company, 20 points. Get Back and The Long and Winding Road appear on what final studio album released by the Beatles? Let it be. Let it be. You've still got the board, though. Category? Russians are coming. Russians are coming for 25 points. Think, Anya, all your ancestors were surf owners, owners of living souls. Do not human spirits look out at you from every tree in the orchard? Who wrote this in the cherry orchard? Uh. Anton Chekhov. And you've still got the board, Chelmsford. Let's go to Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup for 25 points. In 1993, President Bill Clinton signed what landmark legislation that effectively created a free trade block among the U.S., Canada, and Mexico? Yes, Evan. NAFTA. NAFTA is correct. You've still got the board, Chelmsford. Oh, and there's the bell. Ends the category round the score right now. Chelmsford High School, 365 points. Shrewsbury High School, 170 points. Let's hear some noise, folks. <laughs> Okay, so now we move into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It's the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. And uh, here we go. Ascorbic acid is commonly called what? Vitamin. Yes, Adithia. Um, vitamin C. Yes. In 1950, what American science fiction writer published the influential short story, I, a Robot? Yes, Evan. Asimov. Yes. By 1868, Great Britain had sent more than 160,000 convicts to what remote country? Yes, Australia. Yes. What former professional basketball player is the current attorney general in Massachusetts? Mara Healy. Uh, the Gold Coast, the Nature Coast, and the Treasure Coast, all found in what U.S. state? No, you just missed it. Florida is the answer. In 2015, what NHL team won its third Stanley Cup in six years? Yes, yeah, Stephen. Blackhawks. Yeah, Chicago Blackhawks. Emirates Palace is an iconic landmark in what capital city of the UAE? Yes, Evan. Abu Dhabi. Yes. Who directed the films Do the Right Thing and Malcolm X? Spike Lee. Spike Lee. Uh, the Salem Witch Trials began in what year? 1692. What 13-letter word refers to an abnormal or irrational fear of spiders? 
Yes, Mona. Arachnophobia. Yes. Name the second title in Veronica Roth's Divergent trilogy. Adithia. Allegiant. No, Insurgent. Uh, what Greek mathematician developed? Oh, and there's the bell ending the round, ending the game. The winner this week, Chelmsford High School, with 425 points. Also, congratulations to the runner-up, Shrewsbury, a total score of 210 points. Again, applause, congratulations for both teams for a great game. Chelmsford High School now will move on to play in the quarterfinals. So if you're watching, be sure to tune in. We'll see you back here next week for High School Quiz Show. Boom! Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Report a claim. Pay your bill. Safety's mobile app is just one more way we help you manage life's storms. For auto, home, and business, ask your independent agent about safety insurance. Production of WGBH.